It works. Hey. My skin's fucking clean. It's very red. It's very red, but like, look how shiny it is. Girl, I still got my makeup on, but I'm sweating it off, man. Sweat it, sweat it, sweat it, sweat it, wet it, wet it, wet it, wet it. Swing it, swing it, swing it, swing it. Bling it, bling it, bling it, bling it. Hi, welcome to the Jamie and Brianna show. I know it's been a while. We were in rehab. <laughs> <coughs> We've been going through um episodes of depression and anxiety and seclusion from the society we live in. And isolation and from isolation the world. From the world. And each other. Yeah. But we're back together now. Mm-hmm. Finally. After, like, f- fucking two and a half months. Our crippling anxiety hasn't stopped us yet. It has not. It has not killed us yet. I had a really bad, really bad day of anxiety. Did I tell you about that? Yeah, tell us. Tell us more. Um, okay. So, basically, I was working at Walmart, and I was having a really bad day. I mean, the before that, I was having a good day there, but then, um... Basically, what happened was, um, they were low on people, so people were, like, calling in sick and shit, and, like, I was the only one that was working in the fashion department, and I was so, so busy. I had fucking four full carts of clothes and everything that I had to put away, which was gonna take me the entire day. I didn't get those finished, by the way. And, um, basically, I was at the fitting rooms folding the clothes to put away, and this lady... I don't even remember, I do not remember her saying this, but she was like, um, ooh, I can't remember my purse, my purse, better bring it into the, or I can't forget my purse, better bring it into the change room with me, and I kind of laughed, like, yeah, that's a good idea, or whatever. Um, so apparently she had said to me to, oh, could you please watch my stuff? But she must have fucking said it really silently because I did not recall that whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And um, basically... Like, Plus you're, like, busy as fuck. I was so busy, and so I just had no idea she even fucking said that. Um, So basically, I guess her cart with all of her stuff in it had somehow, like, the stuff that was in her cart, like, had transferred to a different cart or whatever. And so she fucking blamed it on me. What did she say? Like, the exact word. Like, okay, so I was on break, and then I came back from break, and, um, there was, like, another girl I work with, and she was kind of looking at me weird, like, okay, there's, I think, is this the young lady you were talking about to the, the woman? And the woman was like, yeah, um, I asked you to watch my cart. It had, like, a bunch of stuff in it. And now I can't find the stuff in my cart, and I've lost a bunch of stuff. You said you were going to watch my cart, and I was, like, looking at her like, I didn't even fucking recognize the bitch. Like, I have, I see fucking so many people going in and out of that place. Like, I'm so busy with other stuff. Like, I do not recall that. I don't even recall that bitch. So I was looking at her like, uh, are you sure you got the right person? And she's like, yeah, it was you. Remember you giggled when I said this? And I was like really reaching in my mind because there were so many people everywhere looking at me and it was so fucking embarrassing because like I could not fucking think of it and I was like then finally it clicked in my head like oh okay I remember laughing when she said that she was gonna bring her purse in but you probably didn't understand what she was saying like she said it weirdly yeah. or like yeah like she d- I didn't remember her yeah. saying it at all she must have yeah. said it really quietly if she did or she's lying because I didn't hear her say that at all and so she's like yeah I told you to watch my purse um and I literally could not remember doing that at all I said okay um I do not remember saying that maybe I didn't hear you but I'm totally willing to help you find the stuff I'm really sorry and she was like just being a fucking bitch about it and that just like really really and it was the thing was if it wasn't in front of like 10 people because for some reason just at that moment there had to be like fucking 10 people around the fitting rooms and there's never that many people around Mm -hmm. there yeah it's always like I mean the Walmart I go to anyway fitting rooms are like 
the yeah, only them ever. literally, and like there just had to be like ten people in that moment, the moment yeah. where I get called out on for making a mistake that's so stupid. Um. So anyway, she went away, and I fucking broke down crying, and so I ran to the bathroom and cried in the stall. It happens a lot at work. Um, and yeah. And then you ripped your pants. Yeah, and then I was done work. And I was, actually, I was literally going to go to her house for a sleepover after work. Um, and I was and sitting at the bench. Pants. Yeah, I was sitting on a bench waiting for the bus. And That's I terrible. fucking ripped my favorite leggings. And they were so cute and so comfortable. I'm sorry about all that. That day just seems horrible. Oh my. And I was so excited to see you, that's a thing, but, like, I was literally, when I ripped my pants, I started bawling on yeah. the, in the middle of, like, I just called my dad, like, dad, I just, I need to come home, I need to sleep in my own bed, because, like, I am fucking having a nervous breakdown. Yeah. And I was. When you said that, like, you texted me, like, I'm having a nervous breakdown, so I can't come, I was like, oh my god. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't know what you meant by that, like, what happened. Like, yeah. it was really confused. And I didn't, I barely even responded to her because I was, like, so fucking in a weird mental state. And then I think I responded the next day and told you, you like, a big long story yeah. of, like, what happened. And that's exactly what happened. Like, some people just have really <clears throat> shitty days. It was a really bad know? day. And I totally understood that. Yeah, and that's yeah. what I really appreciate because a lot of people would be me and be like oh you shouldn't have canceled on me and yeah stuff. but you would never do that because like we understand each other and we understand that sometimes things like that happen you know high five that's friendship right there that's a fucking clear display of a good friendship healthy friendship friendship we understand each other we don't judge we don't judge we're here for each other I love my friend Brian. Your name's Brian. What's my name? Jared. <laughs> my name's Jared. <laughs> Jared. Jared Merchant. Jared Merchant. And your name is Brian McBock. McBock. McBong. Brianna McBong. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna Mukbang. You should make a channel literally called Brianna Mukbang. You would fucking get so many views. You got access to all the good foods because you in a city, motherfucker. I'm only access to a shitty pizza place out in the country. <laughs> That's it. What's uh, it called? It's, I think it's called free topping. Free, free That's topping. really sad. Yeah. Free topping pizza literally. is not a good place to go. It's fucking bad and it's the only fucking choice also don't I go have. to pizza pizza because i got like really bad like stomach flu shit going on there yeah don't ever go there also be careful of wendy's because they also gave me food poisoning i hate wendy's burgers they taste fucked like what even no offense to people that like go to wendy's but no no i offense. can't stand that but why do you like the burgers there like the I, fries are good. The fries are fucking bomb. Like remember when I got like three large fries mm -hmm. when I was vegan? <laughs> Wait, are fries are vegan? Oh yeah, that's why you did it. Yeah. Um, I think they were fried vegetable oil. Some aren't though, and you gotta ask. But I just want to make sure. Um, but yeah, the strawberry lemonade from Wendy's is a bomb diggity. But, um, the burgers there, I've had the burgers, and you know what, if I was really hungry, I would eat it, but they just taste wrong. They, yeah, and, uh, you know what, the thing I like about Wendy's the most is the variety of soda pops. Mm-hmm. So much variety. There's, like, got fucking lime, 50. Pepsi or whatever. And you can get so many flavor shots Cherry, yeah. Like, it is heaven. 
I on usually herbs. get literally. I usually get like Dr Pepper that's like flavored. Mm-hmm. Dr Pepper, like yeah. put with flavor shot in it. Oh. Well, other than that, I don't like it. I went to Arby's recently. What did you for, get? Like the second time. I've never been there in my life. Was it good? Yeah, um, I got like a roast beef burger with cheese or something and curly fries. That was, sounds really good. It was the bomb.com. Yeah, that sounds like a the website. It sounds exactly like the website. Like that fucking it sounds amazing. And I want to go. What do you want to eat tomorrow? I want it. Something in the mall. I want to do something like New York fries because I have a gift card. There. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. But you can go anywhere you want. Okay. Um, this bitch is getting McDonald's. I might have Pita Pit. I've never... You know what? I had it for the first time recently. Pita Pit. And it was pretty good. But it, it's very expensive. But most um, places are. Yeah. I like that Chinese place. Oh, yeah. I like that Chinese place. Is there's incredible. two. I, oh, there's like... Isn't there Simply Thai there? Simply... Uh, Thai oh, Express. Thai Express. Yeah. That's good. I love the rice there. Um, Cultures is good. The smoothie. Oh my god. The fucking you, banana stuff. You gave me. I, I got like a few sips of that shit. You gotta get one. It was so good. They are so good. Yeah. Try the smoothie one cultures and you won't regret it. Anyway, the melatonin's literally like hitting me in the face. Like, yeah. I'm going. It goes like that and then I go like. Because I'm closing my eyes and then I'm going to sleep. We're both high. Yeah, I'm high on melatonin. I'm high on weed. She's high on weed. Stinky sock weed, let me tell you. It's fucking it's reeks. Disgusting. It fucking reeks. When you, like, took it in, did you taste it in your mouth, like, the reek? <laughs> yeah, it was, it's, like, the worst weed ever. Ew, it's... But it's amazing at the same time. But, like, it gives you good effect? Yeah. Do you think you'll be able to get to sleep? Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed soon. Just a tip, you don't have to do this, but, like... At one time I got really high and then took melatonin, went to sleep, had the best night ever, best dreams I've ever had in my life. But you really? don't you don't, don't have do to. that because that's terrible. Yeah, I I took melatonin. I feel and like weed. that's the worst. Yeah, and like it it was I would never do it again because it was just really intense. It was yeah. very intense, but interesting experiment. Mm-hmm. Anyway, time to go to sleep. Thanks for watching. The Brandon and Jamie show, and there will be many more of these to come. But, I'm there signing There will be off. so many videos. Yeah, this summer. Just kidding. Summer, Maybe, 2K18.